let's talk about my August TBR. <laughs> All right, guys. Hi. Hello. Welcome back. Here's where I had, I have to admit to you guys, I have no idea what I'm going to be reading in August. No idea. I do have some obligation reads. When I say obligation reads, I have Patreon, I have ARCs, I have things like that, <laughs> that I will be reading. Uh, but I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly what August is going to look like for me because I want to revive the read or unhaul videos because I have stacks of books on my floor again. <laughs> I have a book buying problem. We all know this. Also, I have just posted recently a kind of end of the year priority list for my grimdark books and or dark fantasy. Some of them aren't necessarily grimdark, but they're dark fantasy. So those are books that I want to tackle. I still have fairy loot. I still have book of the month. I have a lot of unread book of the month books. So that's why we need to revive the uh, read or unhaul challenge again. And I will probably be doing that until the end of the year. Basically, it's the same kind of idea as read your shelves or any other read or unhaul that you vi video that you have seen. Pretty similar idea. So let's get into the arcs. As you guys know, I have the third book in the Cake and the Dam series, and that is an arc that I have, but I still have not read Son of the Poison Rose, which I have it down there. I don't know why I didn't pull it, but this quickly, quickly became one of my favorite books of the year, Cake and the Damned, and I want to continue on with this series. It is grimdark, so I really want to get these on my shelves somewhere. Currently, you have not seen them on my shelves because they are in my bedroom. I have a shelf that like spans my bedroom walls. It's just one shelf. But I'm also going to be moving my library from this room to a different room. And I need to condense some of these books. So I definitely need to be reading through a lot of what I have before we make the move. I just have to move them to a different room. I don't have to move them to a different house. So that's good. I also got the last Phoenix Keeper, I believe. I will post an image of it up here. Uh, so you guys need to really talk me out of trying Cozy Fantasy. <laughs> I still keep trying it because I really want to like them. Um, however, I did read The Honey Witch and I enjoyed that. I've read Emily Wilde and enjoyed that. So the banter is bantering in Emily Wilde though. Like it is great. And I think that's the reason I love it. And then witchy stuff. Obviously, you know, my whole Patreon is witchy themed, so <laughs> I love witchy stuff. But I do have some other arcs, one of those being A Tide of Black Steel by Anthony Ryan. So I do want to tackle this. This is probably going to take me the full month to read because I'm going to do it physically, but I need to read this. I, I do have a physical book ongoing that it's taken me more than a month to get through, <laughs> but it's not because I don't like it. It's because I don't have time to sit still. That, that's, that's the thing with me and audiobooks. I rely on them a little too heavily because I, I'm so busy all the time. But I do want to make this a priority. And then I also have The Last Raven by Helen Glenn Jones. This is another arc that I got from the publicist. So I'm very excited about this. This is a vampire romance novel. So always down for vampire romance. And then I have the books that my patrons picked for me to read in a reading vlog. I have gained a new patron, but they're kind of anonymous. They don't, they haven't told me who they are, <laughs> but I'm very excited that they have joined. But still, I only have three patrons who pick a book for me to read, so I let them all pick a book. Okay, so Kate's pick is one that I've been looking forward to for a long time. This was one that was supposed to be in my uh, read books recommended by my favorite author, Anthony Ryan. Um, <laughs> this is John Dies at the End by David Wong. And these are sometimes gross and funny, like the covers of them. But this says, stop, you should not have touched this book with your bare hands. No, don't put it down. It's too late. They're watching you. <laughs> my name is David Wong. My best friend is John. Those names are fake. You might want to change yours. <laughs> you may not want to know about the things you'll read in these pages, about the sauce, about Korok, about the invasion and the future, but it's too late. You touch the book and you're in the game. You're under the eye. <laughs> the only defense is knowledge. You need to read this book to the end, even the part with the bratwurst. Why? 
you just have to trust me. <laughs> so this is humorous horror and I tend to like humor in horror books. So I'm very much looking forward to this. It's been on my radar for a long time. I finally found this copy. These were so hard to find. The hardbacks of the first book, incredibly hard to find. I do have the other ones down here on this shelf with my horror books, but very excited to get into this. Izzy, <laughs> we both have a problem. The problem is <laughs> buying David Douglas books and then not reading them. So you guys know this. I have purchased just about every single David Douglas book there is. Um, the Sapphire Altar is also an arc that I have that I have not read that I'm going to try and read this month. But Izzy's pick was Soul Keepers by David Douglas. Now I've been looking forward to this for a long time. It is dark fantasy. It is one that people who read grimdark and dark fantasy tend to like. And it says the magic never died. Devin Evison was, is a soul keeper traveling through the remote villages as a preacher and healer. But when a mysterious black water washes over the world, the veil is torn, flooding the land with magical ancient magic and forgotten races, fire that dances as if it's alive, corpses that walk, and creatures that can manipulate time itself. And not all creatures that have reawakened remember humanity fondly. As the land grows more dangerous and more chaotic, soul keepers are turning up dead. Their body is transformed into macabre works of art. Devin must set aside his words of peace and accept his new role, slayer of monsters and protector of the human race. So it sounds really, really good. And I've read The Vagrant by Peter Newman. It kind of has a similar synopsis and I loved that first book. So I'm very excited to see where this series goes. I own the whole series. So I know I'm going to be starting series in the month of August and I've been trying to continue series. Hopefully that will be alleviated in my reader toss and you know, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> but I'm not one that prioritizes finishing series. I should, but I like to read more organically than that most of the time, most of the time. In another series, <laughs> my mother is a patron of mine and she chose The Crystal Cave by Mary Stewart. There's a lot of people who love this. There's a lot of people who don't like this, <laughs> but it is an Arthurian tale and I'm very excited to get into an Arthurian tale. I own this whole series again. Um, I picked it up because I bought it at the buy sell trade and I found the whole series in these really great condition paperbacks and Arthur. Do we need to say more? <laughs> so this is book one of another series. <laughs> and I, I'm just excited. I'm excited to get into this and see what I think of it. Also, if I don't like it, it's going to help me in my goal to read or unhaul because I own the whole series. Other book that I have that I really, really want to read is The God and the Gumi Ho by Sophie Kim. I've talked about this book a couple times in a few videos past. So um, basically this is enemies to lovers. It is about a God and a Gumi home and they antagonize each other, but then they have to like work together to figure out what's going on in the world and why things are happening. And I think it sounds like it's going to be good. Now, this is my fairy loot book that I, I need to tackle, but I also still have some fairy loot books that I need to read. And the night ends with fire. I have that one I, that I really want to read. However, I do want to bring the vlogs back and I do want to do some reader unhaul and I don't want to bog down my TBR and not get to the books that I'm talking about in my TBRs because of other vlogs that I want to do. So that is essentially my known TBR for August. Again, I have a Patreon if you guys would like to support what I do on this channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.